the army was massive. The Dominion was led by Dr. Harkin, a man never seen before or after that day. He came to take... It seems this Dr. Harkin believed he had created a way for the Dominion to use the Cenotaph to control the Anthem of Creation itself. To be controlled. The terrible cataclysm which was unleashed that day destroyed Freemark, destroyed the Dominion, destroyed everything. Much of knowing who Dr. Harkin is and what his ultimatum was is truly unknown since the past event of Freemark. He was first introduced in the game via a cutscene by Freelancer Yavo and was talked about by other NPCs briefly who seemed to have had some encounter or past knowledge of him and what type of person he was. But for us, we know literally to next to nothing about him except he played a part in destroying Freemark. His reputation for his madness and is apparently the creator behind the Furies and the Sunken Cell unformatable boss. But before the events of Freemark, the Dominion were looking into ways of controlling the Anthem for themselves. They believed that if the long ago Asian race called the Shapers were able to create tools that use the Anthem creation of their own, then they believed that it would be possible for them to achieve it as well. So they conduct their experiments to try and understand the agent tools left behind by the Shapers to see how they worked. After many failed experimentations on their end, they managed to craft a tool that they believe would allow them to control the Anthem, and this was achieved by none other than Dr. Harkin, a egotistical maniac who has no care for life unless it achieves something for his own goals. Their plan of action was to use their newfound knowledge on the agent Shaper relic called the Cenotap underneath the city of Freemark and activate it so they can control it. Now how they knew about the city had a shape of relic is unknown, but once it was found, Dr. Harkin and the Monitor put together an army and made a large scale assault on Freemark, to where they laid waste to all those that got in the way and managed to activate the shape of tool. However, it took a negative turn and instead of allowing them to control the Anthem, it instead backfired and ultimately destroyed the city with all those there and Dr. Harkin supposedly die in the process. It also brought forth a new catechism and turned the city into the now current heart of rage that we know so well of. But many of us feel that Dr. Harkin isn't dead since, unlike the Monitor, it feels like he has a bigger role within the world with the way he was set up and how important his research was. Remember, he was the one that set up our Doom Patrol and our story to take on and stopped the new cataclysm in the game, which had a negative effect on the world until we stopped it. And we do explore the new Sunken Cell Stronghold, which is known to be an experimentation faculty used by the late Dr. Harkin, where most of his research is based in. Supposedly, he might be alive, but not in a current time frame, but there's no evidence to prove this, so he could be dead as a door now. We don't know. But I had a thought, or three, over the possibilities of his disappearance. So here are some theories you can look into. Theory 1. Alive, but suffering the same experience and fate as Arncadea did in the Inward Abyss. From what is told to us, Dax's Arncadea disappeared the moment the Heart of Rage became active through some sort of wide ripple effect that caused all volatile relics within the range of Heart of Rage to react strangely within the area. And thus, Arncadea and a few others that got caught up in the accident were well, they just disappeared. We do manage to rescue her and the others, but they ended up seeing into the past, present and future with interesting results. But they also seem to be suffering from ongoing memory loss with other indications of interpreting things that wasn't there, such as talking to Owen when she's never met Owen before. What if this is also happening to Dr. Harkin as well, with others back from the events of Freemark the moment he activated the relic to where he's currently trapped in an unknown area? watching both the past, present and future play out in front of him, but can't do nothing about it. We know how unstable the shape of relics are, and we know how unpredictable the anthem is when messing with the environment, so it's a possibility this could have happened to him, which also means there's a chance of him making a return in the future. 
But this is all uncertain since no matter what happens to people who are taken by the Anthem, 95% of the times they never really come back the same or they never really come back at all. Uncle Dea's case is quite rare as I believe this is the first time we actually see someone come back from the void I would consider it. So this could potentially happen to Dr. Harkin as well or he could be theory free which I'll explain in a sec. Theory 2, alive in this world but has no recollection of who he is and goes by a different name. Like I said in the first theory, the Shaolets can do strange things to his surroundings from causing severe harsh weathers to create a new beast. So perhaps Dr. Harkin, out of the failed activation on the Cenotap, was taken to an unknown plane within the borders of the Anthem, but managed to come back into our reality somehow. And now, it's currently in our world but as a different person. If watching and hearing about Arncadeo's condition indicates anything to us, is that from their stay they can't tell the difference between what is their true memories or false ones over time, and seems to get worse by each running day. I believe they call this memory decay. And since it seems to affect everyone that was rescued from that day, and isn't an isolated incident, this means it is a side effect of witnessing such severe events, something that the mind couldn't even take. So right now, there could be a bold man out in the wild who doesn't know who he is or where he is and is slowly starting to lose his mind because of the side effects. Or, he's somewhere out there with a different persona than before, but has recollection of certain events that only a select few people would know, but it's not all made clear to him. And Theory 3, dead and gone but will probably be replaced by another scientist or someone alike to him. Probably the most easiest one to understand out of the three, the Anthem is a dangerous power that no matter how much we try to fully understand it, it somehow manages to lead to more questions than answers. Because of its unpredictable power, many of those that try to seek it out end up suffering a terrible fate and either have a terrible fate such as something annoying occurring to them or it leads to a very painful death. Dr. Harkin is one of those people and the chances of him being dead from the aftermath of Freemark is very plausible, or so I say probably 100%, since the Anthem rarely leaves anyone alive. But perhaps even if he is dead, his research holds a lot of value to the Dominion, and with the recent events of the Sunken Cell Stronghold, I can see another scientist or personnel from the Dominion side taking up his research and carry on his mantle. Although it seems like a stretch for such a good character to go to waste like this, but it's not the first that we see something happen in most video game series. I personally don't believe this guy is anywhere near dead, as he seems too important within the world, with the way he was introduced and then suddenly died off screen. For such a villain like the Monitor, I expect a lot more of him for being an evil scientist, and why the devs chose to go this route doesn't make sense unless this was also a part of Dr. Harker's plan or controlling the Anthem. Or perhaps the devs are planning to extend his story at a later date and will probably be surprised by something about him, something that we don't currently know about him. With the way he was introduced and ended up, he reminds me kind of like the Destiny 2 Saint 14, where we hear so much about him and his heroic deeds but we never see him at all until the Curse of Osiris DLC is released, which allows us to see through a side mission but we find him ultimately dead. Interestingly, because of the way the Vex mess around with the time, it's stated we will see him again eventually, but we don't know when or even how, considering the situation. But comparing the two, they show similarities with people that should be dead but might not be because of how ingrained they are within the world. But I can't really say much more for either since there's no evidence to show that they're both still alive but there's no evidence to show that they're both still dead. We don't know until more is expanded on in the future. So what is everyone's verdict on the mad scientist? Alive, dead, or generally no clue? Let's hear your opinions. So I'm going to end the video here for another day. If you enjoyed the video then please leave a like, a sub and share the video with others who are interested in the worldly lore of Anthem. So once again everyone, thanks for tuning by and I'll see you in the next one.